this, you know, test document and we just made issuing 17 of these when we had to clarify, we had to clarify all the statements possible made by Joe Biden tonight. Uh, I think that there was obviously things that were out there that were unfactual, and that's why we put these out. These are fact checks. So Sarah Palin couldn't handle that on her own? Obviously she could, and I mean, the same thing that the Obama campaign did, which was that they would put out, granted you didn't get it in paper form, and I'm sorry. No one in the room that one. I mean, the, 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 the Obama campaign wasn't handing out a single piece of paper tonight. Yeah, Mark Halpern has it up on his site. He put up every single one that they issued over and over and over again. Halpern's here, so obviously people in the room did get it. I'm sorry. That no, that's right. Well, we're, we're, we're hearing a lot of people talking about how all the preparation really helped. Mm -hmm. So was there just an awful lot of preparation after the Couric interview and all? I mean... You know, we, we can't be apologetic for doing our job here. I think realistically what we did was, uh, you know, we we know and we found what Joe Biden has said, documented all, and when he's going to go ahead and go off base and try and spin the truth, we're obviously there to catch him. And so do you think that Governor Palin you know, overcame she the gaffes of the previous she did, week. She did an excellent job, and she did an excellent job because she was prepared because she knows this. This is, you know, this is her experience. She is ready to lead. She's good to go. So why wasn't she then, say, prepared to talk to Katie Couric? Couldn't even name, you know, a single newspaper she reads. Uh, I mean, millions of Americans are watching this now on, on the millions, web and seeing millions, it. And, and millions of Americans watched tonight. What they saw was, you know, Sarah Palin go up against one of the greatest debaters uh, in Senate history, and she not only held her own, I would say that she had a decisive victory tonight.